Welcome Sagittarius Capricorn to your September 8th through the 14th reading. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. The 8th through the 14th. Nice message, please. Ooh, what do we got? Um, detach. The death card. Letting go of things that no longer serve you for the peace of mind. I'm really hearing about that peace of mind over here. Something is, yeah, because something is a win or lose situation. Having the five of swords, um, wanting to manifest other things that are around you. And it does feel like, you know what, I've been manifesting this situation. I understand I need to let go of this. Yet, I understand whatever I'm manifesting, it's a win or lose situation. Right? Just make sure that once you're done manifesting that you don't go back to it could be a win or lose because then you kind of screw your manifestation up. You think about that before you manifest. Hey, you know what? If I manifest this, it could happen or it might not happen. But I'm going to knock on wood, call, knock on that door, tell the universe this is what I want, and I'm only going to think, you know what? It's coming to me, right? And think pause about the situation. Okay. And that's, you know, that's really what it kind of feels over here. So detach from any ideas of it being win and lose, right? Observing the situation. And it does kind of feel like, okay, I see exactly what's going on. You, you know, you're going to take the lead within the situation. That is your end, your end card with believe and succeed. So it does feel like you did manifest something. You need to detach and let go of that win or lose situation that's going on within your mind so that you can move your manifestation towards you. Observing the situation, I do feel like you... Like you are seeing it as my manifestation is not coming in. So I don't know exactly which way I want to move within this situation. The spirit says you need to take the lead and really believe and succeed. To believe and succeed in this situation means that I need to be fully trusting within the universe that my manifestation is going to come in. There is no win or lose situation. It doesn't matter that that's what the actual case of the scenario is. It's going to happen or it's not. But that's not the way we manifest. Right? We don't manifest with that mindset. We manifest as not having super duper high expectations that it's going to come in, but always giving it positivity just in case it does come in. But you have to get rid of the win or lose situation. Yes, because otherwise it brings in scattered energies. Um, and yeah, it keeps you up at, my, at night because it gives you anxiety. Where is my manifestation? Where is it coming? It's overburdening the situation. So you need to really detach from this situation, really observe it as the wealth that you're looking for. See yourself as the king of pinnacles. See yourself already having this wealth, right? Really observe it. Really get visual with it. You wake up in the morning, you say your affirmations. Today is a great day, right? For me. Right? And we're going to learn about how to speak through af affirmations on the next manifestation video because there are certain ways that people are doing it wrong. I learned the right way, so we will be talking about that at the end of the month. But for now, you need to be telling yourself, I am wealthy, I am happy, and my manifestation is here, and thanking the universe for your manifestation that you've already made. Thank you for the wealth. Thank you for making me wealthy. Yeah, so moving on says I'm not using the teamwork within this situation. I'm actually self-sabotaging the situation from me having what I want at this time. So, yes, so it makes everything go slower. It makes it not come in. It makes it slow down, right, from getting the Nine of Cups. So, therefore, you need to take the lead. Spirit says it's time to take the lead, and this will open up the world for you to become the emperor that you need. Right? This will allow your messages to come in. This will allow you to quickly move through your manifestations, making your manifestation really move. And as soon as you really believe and succeed within the situation, meaning that there is no doubts about it, look, like I said, you give it the doubts before you manifest. This is a 50-50 chance. Double-edged sword. It'll either happen or it won't. But if I really want something, Let's push it out there with all the positivity in the world. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. And just because it doesn't happen today doesn't mean that it won't happen seven years from now. Queen of Wands, pushing out those intentions, keeping the courage alive. Remember, whatever you feed the universe, it's already happened within the fifth dimension. So therefore, the Ace of Cups, just waiting for your cups to be overfilled. The universe is already, here's your call. You already made your message. You already made it known what you want. It's just whether or not you're going to receive it and with time. 
uh, with the King of Wands. Taking your place and being your, right, being your own boss, taking in the boss mode with the sun card for the happy blessings that are coming in. Because the spirit says, I already hear your blessings. I already know what you want. It's just I'm waiting. You know what he's saying? I'm waiting for you. A lot of times the perfect timing is the universe waiting for you. They're waiting for you, and then they will push it together for their own perfect timing. So it's all about you first before it's them. Especially on the big things. Little things are pretty easy, right? So right now they're just saying it's time to detach from any kind of insecurities, any kind of doubts or or fears that are not going to, you know, allow this manifestation to come through, you know, as you need it. Why? Because you need words of abundance. Conscious consumer. Are you a conscious consumer? So words of abundance is you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerfully positive words. Always describe your own and the words and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what attract for yourself and others, right? It's all about your words. The words are power. Your thoughts are power. Conscious consumer, you have the power to heal and help the world with your decision to buy only products and services that are ethnical or environmentally friendly. As a conscious consumer, you choose to invest in fair trade and organic goods. You live simply and you purchase only that which you need. That's for someone. That's probably not for everyone. That's that's pretty uh, almost personal. <clears throat> so if you know that that's something for you, then that could have something to do with you. And that's interesting because we're talking about the world. So I'm actually going to get another one. If I have one more for pretty much everyone that once have felt pretty personal, please thank you. God is your source. Everything you need is supplied by the infinite source of God, and your faith opens the doorway to receive. In God, there is no lack or limitation. Rather, there is plenty of abundance for all to share. There's no such thing as lacking. Okay, there's no such thing. Okay. You believe it, 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 you know, it makes it, right? Okay, my friends, that was it for you. Until next time, peace and love.